Hello, everybody. Thank you all for coming out. I uh, appreciate you all. I'm Justice Pugh. Uh, I'm a senior in the McDonough School of Business studying marketing, uh, and I am a student analyst for the Student Engagement Portfolio. Leave it better than you found it. Reconceiving the GU Impacts Fellowship. Uh, while I am a student analyst, I am also a 2018 GU Impacts Fellow. I went to Maswat, India, a very small rural town in the mid middle of southern India, and I worked for the Mandeshi Foundation. They do a lot of work surrounding female rural entrepreneurs, as well as supporting farmers that were impacted by a drought struck area. So a little bit about my GU Impacts experience. Uh, to be transparent, uh, I faced certain hardships when I went to India over the summer. Uh, one of which included me somehow losing all of my belongings on my way to be in, like I said before, the middle of rural India. Um, but also, I got sick, um, and I faced different obstacles and roadblocks with the organization that I was working with. However, in light of that, I met some people that are going to be a part of my network forever. Some people that have had a substantial impact on my life and uh, people that I hold dearly to me. I got to explore one of the most culturally diverse places on the globe. <coughs> and I made some friends. Um, I got to hang out with my homies over here uh, that were part of the Mandeshi Champions program, waking up at 5 a.m. every morning and running through hills and mountains, uh, playing sports and learning how to wrestle. Uh, even in light of that, I learned a lot about myself. Uh, I started a blog and poetry meditation called Afro Transcendental, which re-energized me and my passion for poetry. Um, as well as learning a lot about the world, about India, and about myself through my writing. So before I move forward, uh, I just want to say the purpose of me saying that is to say the aspect of my, pro my project and my problem statement that I'm observing is how could this happen in light of having, road in light of having roadblocks and hardships, um, and what was planned and what wasn't. That brings us to GU Impacts today. In my case, in the case of a lot of other fellows, we realized that we weren't similar in the experiences that we were having, but we were similar in the fact that we all had such different experiences. The impact that we had was substantial, but it wasn't necessarily intentional. This correlated to a lot of the core elements of the experience being somewhat ambiguous and unpredictable, which is, as we say a lot, especially in the Beck Center, the nature of impact work. And I realized that the root of these two things was that the program is based on partner conditions rather than Beck Center values. So before I go further, I just want to explain what the GU Impacts program is and uh, through the scope of GU Impacts, what is impact? So this program is in three phases. The first one is orientation, workshops, and pre-departure preparation, where you get your visa, you learn about the area that you're going to, you start having meetings with the organization that you're meeting with, and so on and so forth. The second phase is months three to five with the actual travel abroad experience where you have an internship with a mission-driven organization. And then the third phase is deorientation, final reflections, and planning for beyond. How are you going to take this experience and implement it further in your academics, in your professional career, and in your daily life? The issue with this, however, is that a lot of fellows and a lot of the focus for the students was solely on phase two, the travel abroad experience and the internship with the mission-driven organization. But the GU Impacts Fellowship is a fellowship, a seven-month-long, robust fellowship. So in looking at that and in looking at some of the things that I identify with GU Impacts today, we decided it'd be best to identify three core pillars because while we can think about all of the ways GU Impacts had an impact on the student and the student had an impact on the Beck Center and the Beck Center had an impact on the organization, impact is tenfold. It's so many different avenues and so many different ripple effects to impact, so it's crucial to identify certain impact points and then craft the work that you want to do around those points that you identify. So the first one that we decided to establish as guiding principles for the reorganization of the GU Impacts program is a focus on the student, a focus on the community, and bringing those two together to have a focus on the world. Starting off with the student, and looking through a lot of the final reflections that students had as a result of their GU Impacts experience, they said things about how it was a crucial period of reflection, how it impacted their academic journey, how they grew in their interests and they became useful in what they cared about, and how it taught so many lessons personally and professionally. In taking that insight, we decided to focus on a threefold plan for fully making a robust uh, plan for what the student's experience will look like. Focusing on skill building via the Social Impacts Navigator, shout out Casey. Um, the guided, guided introspection and reflection before, during, and after the summer experience that these fellows have. And then, holistic personal and then holistic personal development in all of these elements, socially, professionally, personally, in their careers, outside of their careers, in their family dynamics, and all of that. Just focusing on the whole person, like our Jesuit values here at Georgetown University. 
And looking at competency development before and after the GU Impacts program, we saw that there were so many lessons that we didn't even factor in that the students were having as a result of their program, from being comfortable in diverse backgrounds to their technical skills to their behavioral skills. There were so many things that skyrocketed as a result of their experiences in their own unique ways. Moving forward to the community. This is also threefold with a focus on cultural engagement through the food, through the community events that you are getting to engage in as you have your summer experience, but also community involvement through the organization as well as just being a presence in the community. If you meet friends, if you have coworkers, going out with them, exploring what life looks like to actually be in the place that you're in. And then adding value to the organization. Uh, when I was at the Mandeshi Foundation, I had this grand idea that I was going to go in, work with the Mandeshi Foundation, and change India forever. Uh, that didn't really work out. Um, however, <laughs> however, I found out that one of the best ways that I can have an impactful summer is focusing on how I can add value to the organization. It wasn't this grand idea of me flying around saving the world, but it was me helping people with different Excel techniques that they could use to better organize their spreadsheets. It was realizing that I could have a lot of value if I just help translating documents and writing proposals better because English is my first language and it wasn't for a lot of people I was surrounded with. And then moving on, before we get to the third pillar, uh, we looked at a couple of things. One of which was initially very alarming. We saw that before the impacts, geo impacts experience, there were 60% of candidates that were like, I'm going to go into the social impact space. And then after the geo impact experience, that dropped by 25%. Simultaneously with these findings, we saw that the impacts fellows' knowledge on so many different areas that, inter that intertwined with the impact space, such as investing, business, policy, social advocacy, all of those went up in different ways depending on the organization and depending on the experience that these fellows had. So what does that mean? That brings us to our focus on the world. Career clarity. Even though, again, it dropped 25% of people that were directly interested in the social impact space, we're Georgetown, and we're Georgetown students. We're all about to go in so many different fields, so many different areas, and do amazing work. So the career clarity that people got from the GU Impact experience of learning what they do like, what they don't like, what they want to grow in, what they wanted to make sure they had as a part of their professional experience, has so much value. In addition, they have a network of change makers. The people that I got to go and experience India with, but also the other people that had much different experiences for me that went to Rwanda and that went to the Philippines. And then having access to people at the Beck Center, whether it's the student analysts that I was working alongside or the amazing staff that has supported me up until this point, all had value, which is a network of change makers, which honestly, that's kind of what we pay for when we look at the tuition prices. And an um, <laughs> application beyond. This is the most crucial element of this pillar because, again, that's why we're here. We're here at Georgetown to figure out what our place is going to be in the world and how we're going to get there. So in looking at application beyond, you're taking all of these skills, all of this learned experiences, and you're taking it so that, say, you don't want to work for a nonprofit anymore, but after your summer experience, you decided you want to be the CEO of the biggest bank in the world. Even though I may look at you for some type of way for having that uh, experience after your GU Impact experience, you're going to go on and be that CEO with all of the lessons that you learned from being in a social impact space, from understanding how corporate social responsibility actually manifests and how community impact uh, cultivates itself and how you can further cultivate it. So moving forward, some of my impact reflections as I have went on in this project and developed these pillars to go forward and guide a lot of the work that we'll be doing in the spring semester as we take on another GU Impacts cohort is I have to make sure and continually have to make sure that I'm separating my experience and focusing on the collective experience of all the GU Impacts fellows. Also, there's value in doing work that has direct impact, but it's key to really focus on the ripple effects that everything that you, ha that you have does. Even if it's not the work that you're doing, but the interactions that you're having, impact is widespread. And we have to be very cognizant of what our intent is and what our impact is. And then lastly, we say the nature of impact work is very ambiguous, is very uh, surprising and unpredictable, but that just means we need to do all that we can do to make sure that we're mitigating the factors that we can and controlling the things that we can't control. Thank you.